Hi, I'm Dr. Danny Steffen, and I'm a chiropractor here at the Center for Manual Medicine and Regenerative Orthopedics. I'm super excited to be serving our Topeka community. There's a new awareness and availability for women to seek chiropractic care with low back pain and pelvis pain. One of the things that chiropractic does is it gives a full assessment front to back as the woman is growing and nurturing a nice new little baby. Some of the things we look at is if a chiropractor is Webster certified, and I am. I just got that, and it's a full assessment, a practical, a written, it's courses, and you follow up on it with a lot of research. What I love is that when a woman is having pregnant, pregnancy-related low back pain, there are things that are unique to each stage of pregnancy in each individual. So you treat each time in each visit like it is a new time. Some of the things we assess in the back of the pelvis are going to be one, just the SI joints right here. The pelvis can sometimes go forward and backwards together or one side or the other likes to go. So we check that with motion palpation, assessment on just uh, tenderness and a few other things. After we look at that, we'll also look at the sacrum, this tailbone back here. Sometimes it just goes forward and backwards, but sometimes it side bends. So sometimes the adjustment has a little bit of torque or basically motion to it to just get it to act like it's supposed to, to make sure you can keep moving throughout your pregnancy because life doesn't stop. Then we also check muscles, ligaments, and some of the soft tissue. On the back side, some of the popular muscles that are involved that are kind of sneaky. If you can see this little piriformis, a lot of women who get that sciatic pain or that burning feeling down their legs, it's because of this nerve. The proximity of it, so close, it makes sense. So we assess it whether it's like kind of pinned and we move your leg around or sometimes we just do a nice little sweep or exercises. And if you do a lot of bar classes and yoga, they give you so many variations of it. So we just go over those and what's most comfortable to you. The other thing we're gonna look at is a ligament on the back side, your sacral tuberous ligament. And it kind of comes right through here and attaches to this, your sit bone. So you can see if your pelvis or your sacrum is tilted one side, one side might be tight and then walking is painful, kind of going from sitting to standing is painful. And if you, first pregnancy, you're okay with it. Second pregnancy, third pregnancy, when you have toddlers to chase around, you're not okay with it. So we definitely double check that. Then another muscle aside from piriformis, which Webster Technique really likes us to look at is some of the glute ones, some bottom muscles. Glute meat or your, kind of your second layer to it is really common to be painful, especially if you bring your leg back when you're walking. So we'll check it, whether it's through an assessment when you're on your side, if I watch you walk, if I kind of push in where it inserts, we'll see if that's what's causing you some pain. Then when we go to the front, which you might not want to because we have these beautiful pregnancy pillows, which you get to lay on your belly and you don't get to do that at home. So some people just want to stay for the pillow. But when we turn you over, we're going to check a few other things. We go back to the bone first. And as you can see, these little bumps here, kind of hard to locate but there's a trick you just basically get your arms your hands like this a nice little diamond find your belly button and you'll just roll down your belly button that's close to what it is most of the time it's pretty tender and you're not going to love me or you touching it or it's going to be a surprise like oh my god i didn't realize that was sore but if you can envision if the back side of your pelvis is forward then one of the ones in the front is also going to be up or down so we're going to look at that the cartilage that we have right here, it's called fibrocartilage. Very, very, you know, tough. But when you get some of the hormone changes during pregnancy, like relaxing, it starts to say, ooh, like we got a baby coming, let's stretch a little. That overstretching can cause malalignment and cause some pain, especially if you're trying to get everything working the way it should. Then when we get to the front of the pelvis, we're gonna look at your psoas. It's a muscle that starts on your lumbar spine comes through your hip and attaches almost where you feel like you might have groin pain, so onto your femur. The goal of this muscle is to lift your leg up or hip flexion. A lot of times that's a guilty culprit for having some pain there, but then realizing, oh my goodness, when I go from sitting to standing, it kind of catches and my hips hurt. A few ways to check this. SOT or sacral occipital technique has us raise our hands up and we see where one arm's a little shorter. That kind of indicates there might be a psoas contracture. So the other one is to do some muscle testing, see if they're equal strength and flexibility when you're laying down on your back. The ways we would like to treat this, Webster does a little bit of like a scooping mechanism and kind of just relaxes the tension. 
However, if you're kind of 38, 39 weeks pregnant, you got some belly in the way. So then I like to kind of come more towards the insertion near the femur and kind of do some pin and stretch with you. Get a nice little neural reset, sometimes isometric contractions, which are really you pushing against my arm or my body, but the angle of the joint doesn't move. It might be a little sore, but then you feel so good afterwards. So it's a nice passive type of technique that you do more work than I do. The next thing we're gonna check on the front side is those beautiful round ligaments. So with pregnant women, the purpose of them, you have two on each, or one on each side, and the purpose of them is to prevent your uterus or the baby's kind of bacon to go antiverted or too far forward. A lot of times what I'm looking for is if they're taut or tender, if one side's a little worse than the other, and if they are, a lot of it's just kind of like a little massage through it. Most of the time it's gonna be educating you on how to get up from sitting to standing or how to get up from side laying in and out of a car, things like a low back belt or taping are also mechanisms that help relieve the tension, but keeping you healthy and active throughout the pregnancy allows you not to just kind of wake up one day and be like, oh crap, I'm pregnant. You'll be able to progress through the whole thing without as much pain. Then, aside from the pelvic and low back assessment with pregnancy, we wanna check everything else. You got curves that are changing, that are brand new to you, and then once you're nursing or you have the baby, you're doing this to feed, and then you get some low back or upper back and mid back pain, maybe even headaches with the hormone changes. But Webster, in general, looks at everything from muscle to tissue to ligament to make sure you have a healthy, pregnancy and reducing the time and pain with labor as best as possible. So if you are having pain, and you probably will at some point along the line, I want you to give me a call. Dr. Danny Steffen, chiropractor at the Center for Manual Medicine. Schedule your appointment today. We'll get you feeling better.